femininity irritates feminine men. But first, like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Femininity irritates feminine men. Feminine women are not built for feminine men. We have to have our men with a healthy level of masculinity that allows us to rest in our femininity. When you are with a man who is heavily in his feminine, your femininity will irritate him. You will hear things from him like, you need to toughen up. You need to, you know, why do you need me to do this? Why can't you do it? These are the kind of phrases you're going to hear from men that are heavily in their feminine. They're not going to understand that you are the more gentler sex. They don't understand that you lean on their masculinity to do the more laborious, physically inducing things. They're not going to understand that you are more emotional, that you require more uh, compassion and sympathy and affection. Feminine men do not understand that because they're expecting that from you themselves. And while we do exchange that between one another, the masculine and the feminine exchange, however, a man who is heavily in his feminine, he is always expecting for you to coddle him. And I'm not stroking, I'm not talking about stroking of the ego because we do that for the healthy masculine man that's doing what he's supposed to do. But a feminine man, he expects for you to coddle him and direct him and to lead him. And a feminine woman is not built for that. We are not built for feminine men. We are not built for men who didn't complete the mothering stage of life. We're not built for those type of men. We are built for the men who generally understand what their role is as a man. And because of that, they allow us to be women. When you're with a feminine man, you're not really allowed to be a woman because you have to back lead him all the time. You have to be tough and rough because he doesn't know how to speak to you as the weaker vessel. And when I say the weaker vessel, I don't mean weak in nature. I just mean weak as in you are more delicate. You are more dainty. You are like a ruby. You're like a jewel. We have to be careful with a feminine woman. And feminine men don't understand that. They want to treat you like any other common woman. And you are not that when you are leaning into your femininity. When you are in touch with your core essence as a feminine woman, you are not the basic woman. You are not the modern woman who is able to just, you know, go as hard as a man and joyfully do it. A masculine man understands that a feminine woman needs rest. He understands that a lot of things that might not be emotionally taxing to him, it will be emotionally taxing for you. And he understands that. But a feminine man will tell you things like, you can't take care of that. Why didn't you call them back? Why didn't you do this? He expects you to be able to take on, you know, 15 phone calls all in one day talking about business. And in addition to that, he expects you to do the child rearing and house cleaning. And, you know, and on top of that, maybe even go to work. A feminine man or a man that's not in touch with his masculinity, he doesn't understand that putting all of that pressure on you is taxing for you as a woman. And I mean, it can be taxing for a man too, but men, the way God built them, God built them to be able to deal with the hard things. I don't care who agrees or disagrees. God built man to deal with the hard things. He did not build women to take on the weight of the world. He didn't build women to be able to take on hard things non-stop that drains us that drains our femininity that leaves us depleted thus we can't do the basic things that we were given to do a masculine man understands that and he's not going to bombard you with more than what you can handle my husband would never think to have me taking business calls in addition to doing all this different stuff throughout the day cleaning and all this extra stuff without any stops in between or if I do it period yesterday was mother's day and he did everything and that's not not just on mother's day my husband helps out around the house he'll do laundry he'll he'll cook his work schedule is kind of crazy where he can't really cook but he does help me in that area whatever i need is not really helping it's him contributing to the household including financially and the domestic duties and a more feminine man who's trying to be in more performative masculinity, he will act like he is too manly to take on those kind of tasks. Thus, also leaving you with the responsibility of doing just about everything. 
when men when men have that faux masculinity it's more of like that macho macho you know like they have a chip on their shoulder kind of thing but they're not producing any result that is in alignment with the masculine man so you have to be aware as a feminine woman you have to be aware of when you're in the midst of a masculine man a feminine man or when you're in a man who is pretending to be masculine in his speech but his actions tells you that he's very much a feminine man so when you are leaning into your femininity it's important that you do not attach yourself to men that are heavily in their femininity because they're not supposed to have femininity number one i know there's some channels and different thoughts about how men and women both have masculine and feminine and while we do have the executory and we have the more rested type of way of being god did not create man to be feminine he is to be masculine and a woman is to be feminine now when i say things like when women lean into their masculinity it's pretty much us just getting things done we're more in the doing stage of life but make no mistake about it we don't have masculinity we that's not a trait of a woman a woman is designed to be feminine and if you are a your healthy feminine you can't deal with a feminine man he's going to have you all out of alignment and it's going to make you feel very uncomfortable and make you feel very out of place within yourself so you want to make sure that you're with someone who understands, number one, number one, there is a difference between feminine and masculine. There's a difference between a man and a woman. And these are things that you would think are very basic. But unfortunately, in this day and age, it is not so basic. People don't understand that women were not designed to do a lot of the things that we're doing. Thus, the reason why a lot of women have all of these health issues and they're dying prematurely because they keep on doing things that are out of alignment with what they were created to do and how they were able to function or supposed to function as women. So attaching yourself to a feminine man can absolutely kill your femininity. So you want to make sure that you're with a man who is not going to look at you weird if you say, honey, can you carry that bag for me? Can you do this for me? Um, you know, can you tie my shoe? And that's not being like a princess. That's not being like you are, you know, bougie or whatever you want to call it. And even if people think it is, so what? There are many times where I will ask my husband, can you tie my shoe? And they'll call men who do things like that, this new terminology, they call men who do things like that simps. And in my opinion, a man who is willing to provide and protect and treat his woman with kindness and affection and compassion and gentleness, if you want to call him a simp, so what? But I say that's a man who is heavily in his masculine because he's not afraid to show that gentle side of himself with his woman while getting things done as a man. She's able to be rested and you can almost always tell when a woman is either with a feminine or a masculine man by how she carries herself. If a woman is in a relationship and yet she's very hard, she's very abrasive, she's very obnoxious, she's very loud, she always has to have her opinion known and spoken, she's always manhandling and trying to overpower other people. It's because that's how she carries herself within her relationship more times than not because she has to because her man is not a leader. So when you see a woman that's very aggressive and she always has an attitude and she's mean and, you know, she's just catty all the time, but she's married or she's in a long term relationship. It's because she's wearing the pants in her relationship and she's not able to lean into her femininity. And when you have a woman who is like that, she's going to be mean to other women who are able to be more rested and more relaxed. And you can tell when a woman is in a relationship with a man who has a healthy dose of masculinity because she is generally more rested. She's generally more kind to people when she comes in contact with them. She's not so frazzled and antsy all the time. She's able to express herself as a woman and to be gentle with her herself and other people because she's being treated that way at home so you will definitely know the difference when you're dealing with a woman who is in a relationship with a masculine man or a feminine man because when a woman is in a relationship with a feminine man oh my goodness she's like you know i just gotta keep it up you know i gotta just keep myself together i gotta you know i gotta i gotta i gotta she has that about her and it's unfortunate and i'm not saying that whether or not you're in your femininity is the total you know, responsibility of the man that you're with, but femininity and masculinity, masculinity, 
that is the uh those are the two that go together so when i speak about femininity i'm not going to speak about it separate from masculinity because these two exchange one another if that makes sense so you can tell like i said when a woman is in a relationship with a feminine man <clears throat> because she's almost always on the defense she's always like the the one that has to like get things done and there's a difference between being a man's helpmate and full on leading that relationship. When a woman is a leading the relationship in her home and within her marriage, within her relationship, you can see it in every other area of her life because she tries to manhandle everybody else that she's around, her friends, her kids, her coworkers, whoever else she comes into contact with. She has to show herself as that dominant uh, force, that dominant position, because that's where she always is. She's always the lead. She doesn't know how to relax because she's not given the opportunity because the man she's with is as soft as a marshmallow so a woman who is in her femininity she's just able to be at ease and kind of go with the flow of things for the most part a woman not saying you can't have a type a personality because i have a type a personality so sometimes if my husband he's doing something and i see that there might be a better way i'll make it i'll make a suggestion to him but under no circumstances am i taking over the entire situation see to be a feminine woman who has a type A personality, who has that um, dominance about you, but you're still feminine, you know how to contribute to a situation to make it better, which means you know how to contribute your thoughts and ideas without completely taking over the situation. And you know how to do it from the sidelines. You don't desire to be in the lead position, but you can contribute something to the conversation or situation or the uh, you know business environment or whatever it might be that will get things done and make things better while still remaining feminine, reserved, and at rest. It's a whole art to it. And as you learn, as you grow, as you level up in your femininity, you will understand that being a feminine woman is not to be a doormat. It's not to just sit back and just let people walk all over you. But when you are dealing with the masculine and the feminine, you always want the man to be in the leadership position because it allows you to be at rest. You don't ever want to put yourself in a position, especially when you're married or in a relationship, you don't ever want to put yourself in a position where you are leading the relationship. Not even in small things. Because if you do that, you will set yourself up to not become the wife or the fiance, but all of a sudden now you're the mother in the relationship. And that is a turn off. That dries up the well, okay? That dries it all up, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So, feminine women, your femininity will irritate a masculine, uh, a feminine man because he will look at your femininity and the things that you require as too much. Whereas a masculine man, understands that feminine women are different we require different things and i'm not talking about mainly materialistic things i'm talking about the personality and nature of the masculine man is what we need we need the man who understands that okay she's not going to be building the house she's going to be making it a home she's not going to be going out scavenging for the food but she will make a nice presentation for us in the home She's not going to be, you know, cleaning everything nonstop all of the time, but we will have a nice cozy home. The masculine man understands that we need balance and the man who is not in con not connected with his masculinity, he doesn't see things in balance. He sees that you do your job and also do half of his job, which is not how it's supposed to be. So feminine women, make sure you are mindful of the type of men that you are attaching yourself to, whether it be in a feminine, in an intimate way or just in your personal life. Because if you are always around a man who is feminine and soft and dainty and delicate, you will find yourself having to be in the more masculine leadership position. And as feminine women, that is not really a place we desire to be. All right like and subscribe to this channel and share this content hit the notification bell so that you're aware when i post a brand new video and this background is because i am waiting for my children to get out of school they have a crazy testing schedule this week where my daughter goes to school at, my son goes to school at one time then my daughter goes at another time up and then i come back and pick her up later on in the day so for the rest of the week for the part this is my background is for sunlight so 
if you watch this video until the very end, hit that high hill emoji and put it in the comment section. I absolutely appreciate you. Take care.